years ago in a land far away, there was a kingdom with lords and ladies and brave knights to lead the king's army. Look at that. I tell you, he's the best dressed knight in the whole army. The people loved and admired the knights for their bravery and for their fine uniforms. Oh, this celebration is indeed a sight to envy. Would that I were a brave knight. But I'm just a tailor who merely makes their uniforms. The only thrusting and cutting I do is with a needle and scissors. What a joke. Bah! I'm gonna get something to eat. What? Oh my, is that all that's left to eat? If I don't get more customers real soon, I'm going to starve. No. First, I better finish my work, then I'll eat. Hey, you bugs, get away! Hey! All right, that's it. I'll show you how I deal with thieves and freeloaders. Prepare yourselves. On guard. That'll teach you. <laughs> All gone, I showed them. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Goodness gracious, will you look at that? I got seven at one stroke. That's unbelievable. <laughs> that's an incredible achievement. Seven at one stroke, that's unheard of. Ha <laughs> ha, what a swordsman. Seven at one stroke, that's amazing. <laughs> this workshop is too small for valor such as this. Seven at one stroke, the whole town shall hear of it. I am a seven at one stroke. There, it's done. Seven at one stroke for all to see. Now, it's time to let the people of the town know. Ha! Tell the people of the town? No, I must let the people of the world know that I am a seven at one stroke. I'll save this for later, but for now, there's work to be done. I took seven at one stroke. I took seven at one stroke. Seven at one stroke. In search of challenges for his newfound powers, the little tailor soon left the town far behind him. Oh, I see a test. Am I quicker than a bird? We'll see who's faster. For a seven at one stroke, this is nothing. <laughs> it's almost too easy. Hmm. Huh. Amazing! I did it! Ha <laughs> ha! Seven at one stroke is triumphant again. I'm faster than a bird! Ha ha! Ha ha! Seven at one stroke! Bursting with confidence, the little tailor soon came to the borders of his own land. Before him lay the mountainous pass to the neighboring kingdom. As he was light and nimble, he felt no fatigue, only great happiness as he strode to the top of the mountain road. Hmm? Wow! Ah, this is truly a giant among men. Hey there, my friend! Is the weather any different way up there? Mm -hmm. You're blocking the road. You'll have to get out of my way. Yeah? And who might you be? What do you mean, who might I be? I am seven at one stroke. That's who I happen to be. Seven at one stroke? Go home, little man. Yeah? I'll teach you not to insult a seven at one stroke. If you don't get out of my way right now, I'm going to one stroke you. Hmm? You want to one stroke me? Well, now, before you do, I think you should see this. <laughs> and watch this. <laughs> Let's see you do that, Mr. One Stroke. You call that strength, do you? <laughs> and what are you going to show me, little Mr. Seven and One Stroke? Wait a minute. I'll show you that was nothing but child's play. Huh? Watch carefully. And now? Mm, let's see. Mm, now you can see the power of a seven at one stroke. Huh? You got water from a stone? Right. I'll show you strength. Mm. Ha 
<laughs> well, little fella, let's see you do that. <laughs> Well dodged, little fella, but can you throw them? <laughs> you think that was a remarkable deed? Well, watch this, little big man. When I throw rocks up into the air, they don't ever come back. <laughs> what? Ah, it's gone. <laughs> So, little big man, who's the strongest one now, you or me? Why, you are by far. And don't you forget it. Now move over to the side of the road before I really get upset. Uh, yes, sir. Clear the way for the strongest man in the world, Mr. Seven at One Stroke. <laughs> a seven at one stroke and stronger than a giant. <laughs> <laughs> and so the brave little tailor entered new lands, where he came to a royal courtyard filled with magnificent buildings and luscious, comfortable lawns. And what have we here? I don't think this is allowed. Seven at one stroke? Incredible! We must tell the king. Yes, your majesty. On the lawn. No, your majesty. Seven, your majesty. At one stroke, your majesty. What, that? Seven in one stroke, you say? Yes, that's what it says, all right. Well, in all my days, I've never seen the like. Your majesty, I must urge caution. If this man is indeed a seven in one stroke, he must serve no army but yours. Yes, perhaps you're right. Sir... If you are as brave as you proclaim, I shall have you enter my service. As brave as I proclaim? Ha ha ha! Don't you know I'm a seven at one stroke? Your Majesty, I stand ready for any battle. I thrust, I parry, I parry, I thrust, I thrust again! Eh? I am faster than a bird, I am stronger than a giant! And if seven should stand huh? before me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven! Gone! Oh. I am seven at one stroke, Your Majesty. Ah, well now, I must say that's quite an accomplishment. It's really nothing, sire. It took but a moment, and there were only seven of them. That's nothing for a man of my talents. He talks as if he were fighting only seven flies. Of all the nerve. A brave man. Indeed. Although my kingdom is at peace, I should like to make you an offer. Enter my service, and I shall pay you handsomely as well as putting you in charge of the entire army. Huh? Huh? What? I shall pay you in gold and give you your own house if you'll serve me faithfully. Ah, payment in gold in my very own house. I accept your offer. <gasps> well. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, yes, this is much better than my workshop, much better. <laughs> so you want it again, eh? On guard! <laughs> huh? <laughs> Seven at one stroke! Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! What? You can't leave me! But, Your Majesty, we saw the deed with our own eyes. You surely have no need for generals such now, as wait us just now. just a moment. You two are my most experienced and most loyal generals. Surely there's nothing to fear. He's only one man, after all. Um, in fact, he could be a king. What? What's to stop him from being king? He could be the king if he chooses, my lord. Eh? You don't mean here, do you? I don't want to even think about it. Hmm. Enough of this. We must get rid of that young man. Yes. There is a way to be rid of him, Your Majesty. I command you to tell me how. You want me to slay two dragons? An easy task for seven at one stroke. However, I consider these dragons to be so deucedly troublesome that if you succeed in slaying them, I shall reward you with the hand of my only daughter in marriage and half my kingdom as dowry in recognition of your bravery. <gasps> the princess is to become my wife? My love! <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Hey, 
a beautiful princess and half a kingdom. Your Majesty, lead me to those dragons. Just what I had in mind. <laughs> <laughs> and so the brave little tailor set forth to win a princess and half a kingdom. Halt! You must wait here until I return. But you don't want us to accompany you? Remember, I am a seven at one stroke. To handle these two dastardly dragons, I'll need but one hand. <laughs> oh my, such bravery! We'll never see him alive again, you know. What was that? The brave little tailor crawled to the edge of a valley gorge. And there below him lay the fiercest looking dragons he had ever seen. Scary dragons. Glad my skills aren't limited to the sword. Here goes. Now dragons are known for their fierceness, not their intelligence. And the brave little tailor knew this. Aim. Fire! Hey. What'd you do that for? What's the matter? Let me sleep. <laughs> Here goes nothing! Bray! 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 Hey, you two, catch these! It's unbelievable. Your Majesty, as you can see, I have completed the task. Ah, yes. Why, well, so you have, so you have. And so, Your Majesty, when shall I be married to your daughter, the princess? Oh, uh, that's a very good question. What, what about, about the unicorn, unicorn Your Majesty? Majesty? Ah! Young man, before I give you my daughter's hand, I require just one more service of you. Uh, what is that, sire? In the forest to the west of the Great Lake lives a once good, now evil, unicorn. Before you receive my daughter and half of my kingdom, you must capture this beast and bring him to me. What was that? <gasps> did you hear something? I did indeed, sir. Captain, why do your men fear this creature? Well, you must understand that many men have tried to capture this beast, yet unfortunately none have returned to tell their tale. Hmm. There is no reason to be afraid. Wait here. I shall be back before you know it. My, what a brave young man he is, a true seven at one stroke. Traveling alone to the edge of the lake, the brave little tailor realized he'd never heard of a bad unicorn before and was most interested to meet this one. Huh? Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Hello, Mr. Unicorn. Why don't you come down here and show me how brave you are? <laughs> 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 Right, my beauty, come meet us, seven at one stroke. Ah, come on, come on now. You may be powerful, but you're no match for me. Absolutely amazing. You've done it. You've succeeded. That's wonderful, my boy. <laughs> Very impressive. And soon now, you can marry my daughter. I know. Hmm. Uh, however, there is one more thing. Hmm. Huh. Well, I suppose just one more task won't be so bad. The king says I must capture a wild hog for the wedding feast. Come out wherever you are. But this is not just any wild hog. <laughs> Steady, men! <laughs> 
steady. Someone your own size, little ball, Do like me. My general. Captain, we were saved by the bell. Oh, my general, you saved my life. Thank you, thank you. From this day on, I shall be loyal to you above all others. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so the brave little tailor made his way through the cheering crowds to collect his prize at last. Hey! I've come to claim my reward, Your Majesty. Mm, there's nothing more I couldn't do. Oh, there you are, my brave young general. I was just thinking how happy I am that soon you'll be part of the family. And now your bride-to-be awaits you. Huh? Oh, thank you very much, Your Majesty. I mean, Father. I'll make her happy. Highness! Princess! <laughs> Please allow me to introduce myself. I am your husband. <laughs> how do you do? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> But was the brave little tailor downhearted? Ah, uh, no, stay away from me. I'm much too busy. I'm sewing as fast as I can. See, look at me sew. He was more than downhearted. Ah, Hurry up! Ah, What's the matter, dear? I promise I'll have it ready for you tomorrow, madam. I'm working as fast as I can. <laughs> no, no more sewing. Huh? <clears throat> Deceiver? You mean he's nothing but a low tailor? I'm sure he is, and asleep at night he talks as though we were working in a shop sewing things. How could you allow me to marry a low, common tailor? Enough! Now, how are we to be rid of him? Sire, we should attack him while he is sleeping and away from his sword. It's a desperate measure, but I'm a desperate king. I agree. These are trying times, sire, but it must be done tonight. Yes, we'll bring the whole guard at midnight. That'll be too much for him. I don't need to know the details. Just be done with it. That night, when all was quiet, the hall outside the brave little tailor's room filled with soldiers. <gasps> oh, your ladyship, please forgive me. I promise the garment will be ready soon. She was right. He's nothing but a common lowly tailor. All right, men, follow me now, quietly. Ah. Enough, enough. I can't sew any faster. <laughs> I won't take this anymore! Ah! You imbeciles, he's only having a dream. <laughs> Seven and one strong! <sighs> I slay two dragons! I am stronger than a giant! Seven and one stroke and one shot would do you vermin in! <laughs> Beware my shot! Seven and one stroke! <laughs> One stroke! No! Thank you so much! Oh! My, he really is a brave man! Oh. Oh. And so the brave little tailor was elevated to new and greater heights. Forgive us, Your Majesty! Yeah, yeah, very well, very well. I forgive all of you now that I am king. <laughs> and you shall be my general. <laughs> I'm so very proud of you, my love. Uh, my queen, I don't think this country is big enough for both of us. <laughs> you can keep your country, sire. 
Verily I say, when the going gets tough, the tough get going! Uh, ah! Wait for me, my love! Let's get out of here! Why settle for a kingdom when there's a whole world waiting ahead for a seven at one stroke? <laughs> oh! Oh! Wait, my love, wait! Oh! oh let's go! Wait for me! And the brave little tailor lived happily ever after.